Good evening. I am Brenda Howell, and I am the host for Beauty Your Way with Brynn. So you can catch most of my live videos on Facebook under Beauty Your Way with Brynn, special VIP group that I have. You can ask to be a member and join. So today I'm going to be doing Mary Kay's new limited edition fall eyeshadows. I am going to be using two of these. I'm not going to do the green today, which is called In the Trees, because I'm wearing blue and I am going to pair these shadows with Mary Kay's powder chroma fusion shadows, which are all highly pigmented. They're great. You don't have to use a whole lot of the shadow to get great color and great coverage. So I'm going to start out first with Mary Kay's. I already have my foundation on. I have uh, my contouring, my highlighting powder on. So before I do my eyes, I'm actually going to go ahead and apply one of Mary Kay's new hydrating lipsticks in Black Cherry. These have come out for the fall, but they're also going to be um, regular line. I'm going to pair it with one of our lip liners, Berry Lip Liner, just because I feel like if I have my lip color on, I can build the intensity of my eyes and get the, the correct amount of color that I want instead of um, applying color, then putting lipstick on and not having enough color on my eyes. So, plus, I just like to have stuff on my lips. So, we're going to start with the Cupid's bow. So you always want to start with the Cupid's bow. With your mouth closed, you're going to come from the corner to meet the Cupid's bow, okay? That way, you're going to have a much fuller lip instead of drawing down and cutting half of your lip off, okay? So you got to keep your mouth closed for this. Also, I want to point out, see that white ridge? If you don't line that white ridge, then you will, uh, you can make yourself um, appear older because that white ridge will stand out from your lipstick. So you want to make sure you have that lined. I always color in my corners so there's color there. Okay, so that is Berry Liner Black Cherry Lipstick. It's going to be very beautiful for fall and winter. Okay, so that is Black Cherry. And I am going to use a little Berry Delight on it. Now these lipsticks are hydrating. They're actually a shine lipstick. And so I will check my wear. Today it is a, it's 1042 right now. So I'm going to try to see how long these stay on. Um, just to see how long wearing a hydrating lipstick can be but I'm gonna apply Berry Delight. Pretty fabulous. Okay, Berry Delight lip gloss. I love our new lip gloss because see how it's the doe foot applicator actually has an indention. So it actually uh, molds to your lip when you're applying it. Now I'm gonna start with sanding, 
Okay, now these liquid shadows are matte. So I'm going to apply it with the doe foot. I'm just going to put on the amount that I want. I'm actually going to take this all the way up to my brow. Normally I put this on and then do my brow, but I did it backwards today just so I would have most of these things done when I come on here to do the live for you. So then I'm going to take my all over color brush that is for or my liquid cream shadow brush. You can use this for concealers and liquid eyeshadows. The brush hair is just a little bit stiffer. But now you can see this shadow is matte and I really do like it, okay? So this is going to be some great shadow, but it is limited. So if you want it, grab it while we have it, make sure you love it. And then if you love it, you might wanna buy um, uh, just a few to stock because they are limited. So once they're gone, they're gone. So I'm going to have to buy some of these for my stash because I truly do love these. And they go on beautifully. They glide on. They're easy to move. And I really like this one up under my brow. Again, these are not shimmer. They're matte. Oh, my word. I do love this color. Love it. Love it. Next, I'm going to use, uh, let's see, this one is desert, some warm desert, okay? So I'm going to apply this one in my crease, okay? So I'm going to use the doe foot applicator to just apply some. Well, better not go on my other eye yet. But I am going to use one of these to see. I think I did this last night in my life, and this blender worked. Even though it is designed for powder, it works well with the liquid as well. So I'm going to use this medium color just to deep set my eye to make it look deeper set and more open. Okay. Now notice that as I look up, I have to look up to make sure that I see when my eye is open. I want to make sure that I can see that color. Okay, so I'm going to have to use a mirror. Okay, yeah. So once it is on and you're looking at yourself with your eye open, you need to see this color. Now, I have a lot of space in between my crease and my bone. So I do like to take mine up just a smidge higher. Now I'm putting this in behind the eyeball and up onto the bone, not to the brow, okay? But see, I'm leaving it off the lid, okay? If you put it on the lid, it's going to close the lid back up. So I think I got a little bit right there. I'm going to take it off. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to do this eye. Also, you're probably noticing that I already have my mascara on, okay? I do put my mascara on. I use the intensity, and I love the mascara because it really makes your, the intensity makes your lashes look more like a false eyelash, but it gets very close to your eyelid. So I want to make sure that uh, I put it on before shadow because it's a time saver. If I put my mascara, if I do my eyeshadow, then I put my mascara on, it gets on my lid, then I have to clean off the eyeshadow, reapply eyeshadow. So I just kind of teach you that because it is a time saver. So now you could just do these two colors if you choose, but I am going to do a different color. I'm gonna use a darker color to make my eye look even more deeper set, more open. Um, and so I'm going to use the smudger brush of our brush collection. And I am going to use some, I think I'm gonna mix, going with my color of my eye, I really wanna bring out my eye color. 
So I'm going to use, okay, let's see. I'm going to use some mahogany or uh, Merlot. So I'm going to use this color right here, a little bit of Merlot, and I'm going to mix it in with the brown, this brown right here, espresso, and some purple. Uh, again, I want to stay in my color tones here. So I just, just so you can see, I barely touch in these colors, okay? I just barely want to touch in these colors so that you don't have to rub in them. And then I come on here and like anything that's on my hand, I push that powder into the brush. If it... If I don't push it into the brush, I'll have fallout on my face. So that that's on my hand would have fallen onto my face. So I just do this line straight up like this. And then making sure I always use my mirror arm's length like this to check to see if this shadow is up where I can see it when my eyes are open. Okay. If it's not, that means I have to take it a little higher so that the people I'm talking to sees it, okay? Now, I really, my goal with eyeshadow is I want people to see my shadow more. I mean, I want them to see my eye more than they see my eyeshadow, okay? So I'm going to take this. I'm going to make sure that this, the depth, is dark okay so i want to make sure you all see this color when my eyes are open if not i need to lift it so yep you can see it so i'll do some blending again in a few minutes but again i'm going to show you i just angle that up like that see how i'm going out and then i'm going to stop you can actually put a dot right there and then blend over okay And then blend these together. Now my eyes is a little bit wide set. Okay. So I'm going to take my dark in just a smidge. Not all the way over to my nose. But just because my eyes are a little bit wide set. Okay. Now I'm going to take my fluffy blender. And I'm going to start to blend all of these colors together. Okay, I just don't want to have a lot of stopping and starting points, okay? Okay, now I'm going to take my eyeliner. Okay, we're going to take my eyeliner and I'm going to go into the Merlot. Now, you want to get with me for your makeover so that I can help you choose the right colors. Okay, you want to choose the colors that is right to bring out your eye color because in case I didn't finish my sentence a few minutes ago, you want people to see your eye color more than they're seeing eye shadow. So now when you start building your color, you are going to feel like this is really dark. Okay, especially if you're somebody that you don't wear shadow. Okay, if you don't wear a lot of eyeshadow, then you're going to see it. But I really want you to just get in the habit of looking at yourself with your eyes wide open like this. Okay, like you're talking to somebody and and then kind of look at it because what you do is you do this. And you, so you're looking at yourself in a totally different way than other people see you. And so you're going to see that your shadows should make your color in your eyes brighter, okay, and more vibrant. So I use shadow on the bottom instead of a lot of eyeliner because I want this to be softer. Okay, I want my shadow, my eyeliner on the bottom to be softer and not real strong because I want people looking at the top of my eye instead of the bottom, okay? Now I'm gonna use eyeliner. Um, 
don't have it over here. So yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. So I'm going to use a uh, eyeliner. Now our new waterproof eyeliners are amazing. I'm grabbing an older one, so it's a little shorter, but and a little drier. The new waterproof eye colors eyeliner goes on like just they glide on. They're amazing. So you're going to love them and they truly are waterproof. So if you'll notice, I'm just doing short feathery strokes, doing dot to dot, just connecting them. Okay. Then I come to the end of my eye and I pull up. Okay. So really what eyeliner is for we are trained by nationally known makeup artists that does movie stars and models. And they have taught us that really eyeliner is to make your lash line look fuller and thicker. Like a false eyelash again, okay? So it's to make your lash line look fuller and thicker. And I typically don't put it on the bottom. Now, when you open up your eye, always best to check your makeup by daylight okay so always getting in your uh, your window to check to see if you have the right amount of color now if you want to just for a little bit of lift you can just put it right there at the corner on the bottom but not take it all the way in okay but you don't want to take it all the way. Well, you can, it's, it's your preference. It's just what they've taught us that um, it keeps attention on the upper part of your eye instead of the lower part of your eye, which is everything you try to take attention away from. If you will um, just use shadow on the bottom, okay? Now, lastly on my eyes, I've already got my brows done. Um, I do come back. Even though I put lash intensity on, okay, we're going to touch the bottom, okay, because I didn't put lash mascara on the bottom. I love to come back with my um, ultimate mascara, okay? So I'm going to take the ultimate mascara and just tips, do the tips, just so if any eyeshadow has fallen on my lashes, I won't see all of that shimmer on my lashes, okay? So I can just take this one. And I do love this formula of mascara. So if you can see what I'm doing, I'm going to the root again, and I'm lifting my lashes. It's always best if you curl them because it's going to lift them kind of like a wire in your bra lifts, okay? So that's what this is doing, is you're going to go in here, plus I can kind of separate my lashes if I've stuck any of them together. Okay, and then just go on the tops, the tips of your lashes. I do have a little comb that I use. I feel like there may be a little clump right on the tip of one of these. So, and then I'm going to come on the bottom. You do always want to just make your eyes come together. So if you're somebody that's not in the habit of using mascara on the bottom, you do want to put some on your bottoms. Okay. And the more that you use and put mascara on your bottom lashes then they will start to grow this is going to help condition them plus our oil free eye makeup remover actually conditions your lashes and helps them to grow as well so I just like to have some of my lashes showing on the bottom 
Okay, there we go. I think I have some clumps right there, like right on the tip, but I'll have to. I may have gotten it, I'm not sure. But you don't need me to sit here and fix my lashes for you. Alrighty, and then I'm going to close by showing you how after I have on okay, I'm going to take my light ivory concealer. I'm going to use a, you can use one of the cream eyeshadow brushes. I'm going to be using a former foundation brush that we have, but I'm going to highlight around my eyes and actually this would do some cleanup work as well. So I'm going to clean up like this, clean this brush off really well. This is another doe foot applicator, so it's spongy. So it's got a lot of product in it and I don't want a ton of product in here, okay? So I'm gonna go here. Oh, she touched my lashes there. Okay, so that'll be a sufficient amount. And then I'm gonna take this, gonna clean up in here like this and then clean right to the edge, okay? So what I'm doing is I'm making this skin like tighter and I'm cleaning up. So when we're rested and awake, I'm hiding the darkness around. Typically right in here is where you're gonna have some darkness, but see how you clean up and it makes your eyeshadow just look sharp, okay? So, Keep blending this one. I got a lot more on this eye. So I'm gonna to have to blend out some more. Okay. Now, when you first put this on, it is gonna be lighter, but as it settles, okay, it's gonna settle and get softer. So it won't be so white and chalky, but to also help with that, I'm gonna use some Mary Kay pressed light ivory powder, okay? So I'm gonna set that so that, okay, see automatically how that just took it and it doesn't look so white and chalky. I want it to be lighter just to brighten up my skin around my eyes, okay? And then I am going to put a little bit I would usually contour my nose after I have that on so that I don't get the light powder on it. And I think I'm going to have to, I feel like I've got a touch of that on my lash. So let me fix that. Okay. Daggone it. Daggone it. So the good thing is Okay, now I'm going to contour my nose with a smaller brush. I'll put some contour powder on it and then this is really just going to give shape, bone structure. Can you see that? I love to do this part, but you're just going to this can make a fuller nose look skinnier, okay? Let's see, my powder brush. I'm 
Okay, now I already have my cheek color on. My eyes are done. So last thing, yeah, I forgot. Okay, I will teach you how to do highlighter, a different brush, and we're going to take some shimmer highlighter. Now you never want to put shimmer where it could be confused with oil. Okay, so I typically like to highlight out here. Okay, get a different brush to blend it. I also don't like to, but you can, I'm not saying you can't. I'll show you in just a second what I'm talking about. But I wanna put the shimmer here to highlight my cheekbone and bring attention to my eyes. Now, some people are doing this. That can also appear as oil, okay? So you definitely don't want to come down the nose with that, but you really don't want to bring attention to your nose. So I feel like when you put that there, you're drawing attention to your nose because you really want to take attention away from your nose. I am going to add a little bit more blush. Okay, so there we go. That's your eye tip for today with the Mary Kay New Liquid Mattes added with Chroma Fusion. So have a wonderful day and God bless you. Bye-bye.